up to date on the North Carolina lineup news. They've made four changes after the international break. Yeah, and I think it makes sense. I think it's difficult because Jesse Fleming is such a good player, but it's taken a little while to adapt. I think Sagita coming back in there. And the captains from that game are on the field tonight. And the rivalry that perhaps is most exemplified the best of the on-field product in the NWSL as well. 20th meeting, North Carolina and Portland from Cary, North Carolina. Assisted Pinto's 44th minute winner against Gotham. Scored against Utah. Offers, ball clipped, in! No sleeves here to stay with the opening goal. It's Lucy against her former side. And I just mentioned, Mike, how dangerous she could be with the ball at her feet. Just equally as good on set pieces. It seems it's a great ball into the box. The marking just wasn't there. We've seen fragility from the Portland Thorns in that back line area. Every single game they seem to concede really early on against Louisville. Two goals within the opening 20 minutes just isn't good enough. The concentration just doesn't seem to be there. And I'm sure for Mike Norris and Rob Gale, they'll be so disappointed. It's conceding from set pieces. It's a great half volley. She takes this really well, Tyler Lucy, because she has not much backspin on the ball at all. Hogan has no chance, but the mark in there... The... Sauerbrunn, Moultrie faces up, slips ahead, ball got tapped, Weaver got a shot away, Murphy out to collect. I always talk about who's going to be that player that's going to thread the balls through. Christine Sinclair, minimal minutes this year, her time will be limited. That's exactly... It's a really nice interchange. Moultrie walks it ahead. Becky onside. Becky peers back looking for Smith. The top of the area toward frame. Murphy deadens the ball and hangs on. All down due to the set piece, the corner. I think they do look like they've got more balance in this team. Janine Becky gets here down the end line. You can see what she's trying to do. She's trying to cut that ball back to Sophia Smith. By getting more people in this building and making it the kind of home field advantage befitting a team of their historic on-field accomplishment. I think it's a difficult place to go. I asked Sean Nahas that question the other day when we spoke. I said, it's a bit of a fortress at Wake Med. It's almost like teams have a hard time playing there. I know a lot of teams, when they play at home, have that home field advantage. But I think... They seem to have it as a bit of a fortress there. You can feel it. Other teams don't really like going there. Wow, what a ball through. There goes Smith. Smith wide. They're getting completely overloaded. Oh, wow, how that sneak through. Matsukubo went down. Back heel on to Williams. Williams hangs this across. Nearly got the woodwork. Flicked onward. North Carolina hunting for a second. Sanchez. Space again. Williams offers. Header away. And Obese gets a little assistance out of the penalty area. Still the courage persist. Narumi. That's a bit of a knuckleball handled. Niso Sullivan just cut inside, played it all the way back. Narumi went. Oh, turned over. Weaver. That's blocked, two sliding players. They're trying to get it wide. They had Williams wide. Falls to Smith, and that off target. The commentators curse Mike, that I was just <laughs> talking about how comfortable they are on the ball. And then another really, they've got away with one there for sure. It's a really poor giveaway. And I'd expect Morgan Weaver to do better here. They recovered really well. Got a goal in the fifth minute, trying to add to it now. Lucy. Lucy continues. Lucy, hitter! Oh, it's brilliant! Haley Hopkins nods it home, and the courage are ahead by two! Wow, fair play to Hopkins for being in that situation at the right time, because I'll have to look at it again, Mike, but it looked like Tyler Lucy was definitely cutting inside, and it was a shot. Hopkins follows it in, anticipates it. Great header in the end. For sure, Tyler Lucy was shooting, but it'll go down as an assist. Who cares? You see Ashley Sanchez picks up the ball here, nice and comfortable. Tyler Lucy cuts in. Carry North Carolina. Sean Neha says it feels like you're playing with 12 here. 
That's certainly how it felt in the first half. The Thorns will try and climb back in. On the second 45 with Leanne Sanderson, Mike Watts on hand. Three in about a minute's time. Coffee angling backside, header down, ricochets around, cleared out over the end line. On this left hand side, great ball, great run. It's almost like Denny Becky tried to put it back across goal. St. George and Pickett, the two other changes. Zagita, Smith. Tried to let that leak through, tapped away, hit from distance, and Coffey sees this land with Murphy. To be comfortable for Murphy. This is exactly where you need these types of players. Sagita gets a bit fortunate in the end, Sophia Smith. Sam Coffey doesn't. Thorns FC slash tickets for all ticket information. Into the final third, a blasted effort, high and wide. Remaining. I feel for Sophia Smith because she just has no service at all. The one connector, I said there has to be a player. Blistering 42 goals scored last year. Trying to find the breakthrough. Weaver got a piece. Kurtz had to put it out. Was it the cleanest of hits from Weaver? And their third and four games to start the NWSL regular season. Diaz rolls out of play. Mueller. Smith got away from Wetterholt. Smith. Smith at Murphy and dives over the ball. It's never a given. Full time. North Carolina wins the 100th game in their club's history. All comp.